hello. Hello and hello and hello, my brothers and sisters. Um, this is Brother Wes. I, um, I have a message and I have a word that I want to, um, something in my spirit that that I've been meditating on that God been speaking to me about. And, and, and what it is, it's about, account, it's, it's about accountability. It's about accountability. It's about uh, being accountable for your own actions. And, you know, oftentimes people, some people, when they, every mistake they make, it's always someone's fault. It's always the other person's fault. Well, I would be farther along if I wouldn't have got with her, like him, if I did that. As opposed to saying it's me is the reason why, my choices. And so this is kind of along the lines what I want to talk about in a way. And, and what it really is also is the scripture says to examine yourself, whether you be in the faith. And so it's a matter of being honest, not lying to yourself. See, because you can lie to everybody, but you can't lie to God, you can't lie to yourself because the truth of your conscience is going to speak to you. Your conscience is going to speak to you. Someone put that in the comment. Conscience, your conscience. Your conscience. That's the place that God gave and that, that God created, that God shaped in you. His spirit that talks to you. It's that part of life, that part where he's speaking. He's always speaking. And, and so, but before I um, get to the message, before I get to the message, uh, my brothers and sisters, if... If you haven't subscribed to my channel, if you've been listening, please subscribe today. If you've been listening and you've been listening, say, you know, you're saying to yourself, well, you know, one of these days, one of these days, do it today. Do it today. Subscribe. Subscribe today. Subscribe today. But not only subscribe, but also leave a comment, but also share the message with others. Pass the news on. Pass the news on to others. Is that all right? Pass the news on. And so, um, also, before I get to the message, before I get to the message, um, I want to say a word of prayer. I want to say a word of prayer that God speaks. Is that all right? I want to say a word of prayer where God will speak. Amen and amen. Let's pray. Father God, in the name of Jesus, God, I thank you. God, I bless you and I magnify you, God. God, for this is the day that you've made. God, we shall rejoice and be glad in it. God, we thank you for this day. For this is a new day, a day we haven't seen before. And so, God, and, and the fact that we hadn't seen it before, you offered this day as a gift. God, you offered this day as a gift of life. And so, and because of the life that you've given us, God, God, we want to say thank you. God, thank you, God, for our, our up, up, upcomings. God, thank you for our down trottings. God, thank you for everything. God, God is because of you, in you. It's, 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 we live, move, and have our being. God, we exist. God, we abide. God, we'll stand. God, we live. God, because of you, God. God is because of you, God. God, that we are able to, God, stand. God, some that listen to me, God, they're in a place. God, they're in a situation that they know, that they know that it was you. That is the reason why they're standing. It is you. The reason why their mind is still turning right. Because their heart is still feeling right. It is God because you protected. God is because you covered them. Because they cried out to you, God. And in them crying out to you, God, you fulfill your word. And God, you became that buckler. God, you became that pavilion. God, you became that strong tower. And so God, in this situation, God, God, that many are facing God. God, continue to be that strong tower, God. And God, God, that they can run in the midst of desperation. God, there are many that are desperate. They are desperate for healing. They are desperate for love. They're, God, they're desperate for direction. God, they're, 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 God, they're desperate that, they're, <coughs> that their eyes come open. God, open their eyes up now. In Jesus' name, God, we pray, we thank you. In Jesus' name, amen. And amen. Let me turn this air down a little bit. Getting a little choked up. Getting a little choked up. Getting a little choked up. Uh, excuse me, excuse me. And uh, so I want to I wanna read a, uh, a quick 
thing here, and uh, and the title of the message. The title of the message is um, what can I make this title? The title of the message is um, <coughs> um, the inner voice. Listen to the inner voice. The inner voice, and that inner voice is that conscience. That inner voice is God speaking to you. That's telling you things. That's telling you no. That's telling you yes. That's telling you to move. That's telling you to stand still. See, but the problem, the problem, the problem that many who are listening to me now, you done found some trouble. You're in some trouble. You're in some trouble. Uh, See, but the, the good thing about trouble, even though you're in some trouble, there is a song that that I've heard, I'm so glad that trouble don't last always. You need to know my brothers and you need to know my sisters that the trouble that you're in, it ain't gonna last always. So there's an expiration date with your trouble. Put that in the comment. There's an expiration date with my trouble. Your trouble ain't gonna last, but the way for that trouble to leave right is to call on God. Let God remove the trouble. Let God uh, strengthen you in that trouble. That's all it is. That's all. And see, a lot of times there's certain things that happen. There's certain things that happen that we put ourselves in. We blame the devil. We blame others. See, but God' grace is so great that He'll get in there with us and help us to bear it, bring us out of it with a testimony. See, see, oftentimes. Our message comes from the mess that we go through. That's where the message comes through. The mess, the hurts, the rejection, even Solomon. Think what Solomon said that in wisdom there's much sorrow. And in knowledge there's much grief. And so let me let me briefly because I gotta go talk to my baby, go she sleep, but uh, make sure. That's gonna be James. Uh, listen to the inner voice. It's gonna be James 1. And 13, 13 through 15, it says that let no man say that when he's tempted, I am tempted of God. For God cannot tempt, cannot be tempted with evil. Neither tempteth he any man. The 14th verse, let every man is tempted when he's drawn away in his own lust and enticed. The 15th verse says, then when lust has conceived, it brings forth sin. And sin, when it's finished, it brings forth death. 16th verse, do not err, my beloved brother. And so it's, it's basically saying that God don't tempt no man. But every man is tempted when they're drawn away and they own lust and they own desires, their own voices, their own cravings their own appetite and so this is the condition and this is the place that many of you found yourself in the thing that you're in now the relationship in some cases that you're in now is something that you created you created because you didn't hear God you ignored him when that conscience was telling you don't do it don't go over there don't say this don't do this don't entertain it but you ignored that voice See, that conscience, that inner voice, we got to listen to it. We got to listen to that inner voice because it's that silent voice that, that, that will save our life, that will protect us, that will keep us away from so much heartache, so much hardship. But it takes obeying, hearing, just hearing, hear his voice, hear that inner voice, and you know it. Many of you listen to me, you know, you know, you know. You can lie to everybody else, but you cannot lie to God. You cannot lie to your conscience. You can't lie to yourself. You know, and so that's why you're kicking yourself. But don't kick yourself. Don't kick yourself. Don't kick yourself. Just say, God, forgive me. God, help me. And just like and just like I mentioned earlier, God will come. God will help you. God will heal you. And God will rescue you. But you must, you must, you must begin listening to that silent, to that inner, inner voice that's saying no, that's saying yes. 
that stand, stand up for yourself. That said, walk away. That is the voice. In many cases, that God has said, walk away. But you didn't. And because you didn't, you're here right now. But that's okay. God can flip it. Just like I said, out of mess, there comes a message. And many of you that listen to me, God is bringing, God is birthing, and God is developing, God is creating a message through the message, through the mess. God is creating the message out of your heart, out of your life, through the mess. Is that all right? Keep me and, me and my family in your prayers. God bless you. Heaven smile on you. And may your God's best be yours. Is that all right? In the mighty name of Jesus.